What's up, it's your boy. Wait a minute, why is it so dang close? Hold on. There we go. <sighs> you too, what's up, it's your My goodness. Let me change the lens again. It's nighttime. What in the world? Oh my goodness. What? Come on. Oh my God. For real? What the? Oh my goodness. You tube. I knew it was gonna do that. Now I gotta drive all the way. You know what? I got something. I got something. Ain't no driving no more. Ain't gotta drive no more. Teleportation. What you mean? Uh, freaking wavy kid cab done messed up my dang teleportation skill. Done took my lens out here in the wilderness. What is this? What is this? I ain't jumping through another one of these portals, and I'm not doing the intro because the dang, the dang lens is going to check. Listen, you guys, in this video, I did things differently, all right? Now, I know this is not the standard of how you do things, but my client showed me a style that he wanted, and to get it there, I had to basically blow dry it in the shape that I wanted and kind of use my handcrafted clipper over comb freehand shaping it into what exactly that he wanted. And sometimes doing it the conventional way isn't always the only way. Sometimes you're gonna have to do it the way you know how to do it, and this is the way I know how to do it. So if you got another suggestion, leave it in the comment section below. I would love to hear it, all right? It's your boy 360 DZ. Listen, stay tuned. So my client showed me a picture of this guy that had basically a flared out curly top with a mid taper. So I'm just gonna try my best to do exactly what I seen. So starting off, I'm gonna attack this haircut by separating the top from the bottom, all right? I'm gonna set my duck clips in, part the hair at the parietal ridge, and make sure I spray some water. That way I could get a clean, nice part. So after I got my clean part, I did blow dry the hair, getting it back into that shape that he wants. So right now, I'm just gonna clip her over comb, building that shape that he wants. So now that I have the bulk out the way and I have the initial shape that I want, it's time to work on the taper. Now I'm gonna set in my bald line using my Babilis FX. And basically I'm gonna set it in a way where it keeps the C cup as much as possible. Next, I'm gonna put on the one guard and basically just debulk and try to get everything to blend into that top bulk. That way you can set in your guidelines a lot easier. So I want to clear out some of that bulk that's on top. So I went ahead and just freehand trimmed just to get everything to blend. But I don't recommend this for beginners. I recommend just clipper over combing. So now I'm going to use my two guard with the lever open and basically just scoop out, making sure everything blends nicely. So 
So now that I have the boat cleared out, it's time to set in my guidelines. I'm going to go in with the lever open, going up about a half inch, making sure I go over it multiple times to ensure that it's at that length. With the one guard open, I'm doing the same thing that I did with the lever open, but the only difference is I'm scooping out. I'm not gonna go up any higher with any guards. I'm just gonna freehand that bulk at the top. Now with the zero guard closed in a flick out motion, flick out that middle line. Remember to use your corners the entire time. Now sometimes the zero guard can't take that middle line out. So what I'll do is I'll detail as I go. I'll drop right back down to the lever open and kind of corner work those areas, get in between those areas where I see bulk. Now with the lever fully closed in a flick out motion, the same way that you use to flick out that middle line is how you use to flick out that bottom line. All right, start below the line, flick to the line, use your corners at all times. Now this step is what actually sets you apart from being just an average barber, how well you can detail, all right? What I like to do is I like to utilize the mirror. The mirror shows you a different perspective on the blend that you can't see just head on. Also, I like to rest my eyes from just seeing the blend. It will kind of camouflage your eyes not to be able to see uh, what you really need to see. So start with some fresh eyes, use some corner work, go in those areas where you use your guards, corner work those areas and detail. Also, my client wanted a design in the back, so I'm gonna start by debulking with my one guard, just making sure everything blends into that bulk up at the top, and then I'm gonna set my design in. So to start my design, I always like to stencil in my design first before I actually start cutting because you want to actually get a visual on what you're doing before you actually start cutting, all right? So I grab my white pencil. You can pick this up on eBay, Amazon, tomb45.com because this is a tomb45 pencil. Now working on the top, my client wanted an inch off the top, so I'm gonna take out my duck clips, saturate my client's hair with water, and basically work from the front to the back, all right? I'm gonna start in the middle by parting it, set my guideline in the middle, and then match everything up to my guidelines and the sides.
Listen, let me tell you why they call me 360. When they sit in my chair, I spin them in a full 360, and they come out looking like you too. This is the cut. And if you like it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. Also, Hustle Dreams Production, that's my brother, he does all my beats. His YouTube channel will be linked in the description below. Make sure you guys go give him a follow. Also, if you want to know where you can find any tools that you send in this video, links to be in the description below. Otherwise, you guys can follow me on Instagram and TikTok. My TikTok is official 360 Jeezy and my Instagram is 360 Jeezy. But it's your boy 360 Jeezy, and I'm out of here. Chip.